In our June board meeting, we elected two new directors to the CentOS Board of Directors. And you may have already seen my interview with Davida, which I published a day or two ago. And now I'm speaking with Josh Boyer. So thanks for making time to speak with me. Sure, no problem. So my first question for you is, why would you want to be on the CentOS Board of Directors? Or stated differently, what do you hope to accomplish in this role? Yeah, it's, a, it's the best question to ask, right? So longtime user of CentOS Linux, uh, really enjoyed the project as a whole, provides a lot of value uh, for end users that want a, you know, a stable, secure operating system. With the intended end of life of CentOS Linux and the introduction of CentOS Stream, I kind of use that as a, a launching pad for my own um, longtime user. You know, what's that saying? Uh, uh, longtime listener, first time caller. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so use that as a launching board to actually become more of a contributor to the project. Uh, and so I figured, you know, I want to see Stream to be very successful. Uh, I want to, you know, spend a lot of cycles and my own time to make it so. Uh, and, you know, what better way to do that than to participate in the CentOS board and possibly encourage others to become contributors as well. Now, you have a, a history of, of participation in the Fedora project already, right? Yep. What, what insight, what ideas do you bring from there that you think can be applicable to the CentOS project? It's a, it's a very good question. Um, what I have seen in Fedora over my, my entire time starting with Fesco uh, and, and then further into the the, um, the board side of things or the the council. Uh, council, yeah. And um, it used to be called the board. That's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I've seen there is they've really got a good framework for doing that kind of uh, proactive user and contributor solicitation of information. You know, Fesco being the engineering focused body uh, the change process they have there, we're kind of mirroring that a little bit with CentOS Stream and trying to introduce like a feature SIG, uh, for for mm -hmm. example, and then just putting some rigor around like how do how do changes get into the operating system? Uh, what do those changes bring, and why are we doing those? That way, you know, people can discover them, they can plan around them, coordinate around them. That kind of activity on the technical side is really important. On the governance side, with the Fedora Council. We did a whole revamp of what the governance was and how the seats were were um, filled, mm -hmm. what the purpose of it was. Uh, and so being part of the CentOS board, I kind of hope to, to look at how we're doing our governance structure there to kind of give a little bit more transparency, uh, transparency uh, and feedback from the user community as we go. Now, I, I asked Davida this question, but it, it has a very different nuance when I ask you because Red Hat is extremely involved in the CentOS project. How do you draw a distinction between your participation on the board of directors and your your job? Yeah. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my job is one of our Red Hat Enterprise Linux architects. Um, so I very much am involved in the day-to-day -day product side. Uh, and to answer your question, it's very difficult. Uh, at times. And so I don't want to pretend that I can say, well, I wear two hats and they're completely right. independent because, you know, that's that would be a hard place to, to be for anybody. Um, so instead of saying, well, I keep them completely separate, what I like to do when I approach this, and I did this with Fedora as well, because um, Fedora had the same kind of dynamic between what we do in Fedora and how it impacts real in the long term, uh, is, you know, I, I take a look at, okay, what is the best possible change we can make on the balance that we're given, right? So if Red Hat has some product goals uh, or product decisions that they've put in place, how can we make CentOS Stream, in this case, be as effective and useful mm -hmm. to people uh, without making it so different from RHEL that you know if you're using both in an environment, they look completely different, right? Fedora has a little bit of an advantage there where uh, they are the next major version of our operating system. Mm -hmm. And so they can they can take some more risks. They've got additions now, uh, which are, well, they've had additions for quite some time, but um, those allow a little bit more ex experimentation than Stream will. But the cool thing that I'm excited about is um, SIGs, right? CentOS SIGs and how they're gonna pick up Stream and play with it. So it's not so much keeping the the two different roles separate. It's how can I, how can I use my 
current role and, and position to kind of keep things aligned as much as possible, if that makes sense. Well, thank you so much for your time. And yeah. I look forward to, to working with you in the coming year and perhaps years on the CentOS board. Yeah, I'm excited. Good to see what'll come. <laughs>